Hi, and welcome back. So, E3 just happened, and... Let's start. Well, let's start with Microsoft's Lana. But we had Assassin's Creed Unity, which is going to be four player based, multiple co op, or single player. Really good, set during the French Revolution. Um, then we had Division. Another good looking game. Uh, set in an apocalyptic uh, New York City. And one of the big shocks of E3 was Rise of the Tomb Raider. Which looked amazing. Can't wait for that game. Um, we also had COD Advanced Warfare, which I believe was the first of the games shown at E3. And that kind of looked to me a little bit like Titanfall meets Battlefield 4. That's my personal um, We also had Evolve, which looks good. It's a four player versus one monster. Four uh, versus one. And one of the games that I loved the look of was Scalebound by the Japanese dev team Platinum Games. That looked really good. Uh, Dragon's Hat. Uh, there were a few Xbox original uh, remake games like uh, Crackdown and Phantom Dust. They were really good. We had some top indie type games such as Blow, Ori, Land Forest, and a quick five minute run through from ID, which is indie development from Microsoft. Um, uh, Project Spark was it? It's really good. It looks like a new kind of Minecraft thing going on. Uh, one of the big games that I'm hyped for, of course, was the Sunset Overdrive. That looks really, really awesome. I want that. Uh, I'd say there were some rumours going around of some games that weren't were coming out. Some of them have been confirmed and non-confirmed at E3. One thing... Bombshell was Halo MCC, or Master Chief Collection. And... That's my Christmas shopping list right there. We're getting that. Uh, all four games we mastered, we made... All 1080 picks, 60 frames a second and that. But yeah, uh, we also had um, Halo 5 for videos, which looked really good. Uh, Forza Horizon 2, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Which look really good. And oh well, that's it. Uh, see you next.